Hello lovelies. In today's video, we're making one of my favorite fish recipes. This is a beer battered tilapia. It is very easy to make. It is such a light, crispy, textured fish. It is just absolutely delicious. If you'd like to know how I make this, stay tuned. All right, guys, I am just gonna whisk this up before we add our last ingredient. I'm gonna get this all mixed together very well. And finally, we're gonna add one cup of your favorite Mexican beer. My husband picked up Modelo so we're gonna use this, but you can use any beer, any Mexican beer of your choice. I'm not a beer drinker, but I love this for recipes, of course. <laughs> so my husband or someone will drink the rest of this, but we just need one cup of your favorite Mexican beer. And then we'll add this in. Okay, I have my one cup here and we're just gonna pour this in and we're gonna whisk away. And we want this pretty much, um, it's gonna be like a consistency of pancake mix, I would say. And if it becomes too thick, I'm just gonna whisk this for a while, but if it's too thick, you can always add just a little bit more beer. But we want this pretty smooth. So I'm just gonna whisk away here. <laughs> and I really like this smell. I love the smell of beer, but I'm just not a huge beer drinker. <laughs> So, I love this smell though, it smells good. All right, as you can see, this is becoming very smooth. Hope you can see that. So I'm just gonna keep stirring here. And then we're gonna get my fish together. I am using tilapia for this recipe. You can use flounder. Um, cod is a good one also. We're just making, well, I'm just making um, the fillets actually tonight. Um, I really like to use cod for the fish tacos, but I'm not gonna make that tonight. So I'll have to show that recipe another time. <laughs> All right, this looks very smooth and it is of the consistency of pancake mix, which is what I want. All right. I'm gonna set this aside and we're going to get the fish and we're just gonna throw the fish in here. And I'm gonna refrigerate this for a few minutes once I add the fish. Okay, I have my oil here um, in my skillet and it's heating up to about 370 degrees. And you just want to use a um, food thermometer just to get that at the right temperature. Um, fish cooks very fast and especially tilapia. So I will just let it cook, you know, a few minutes on one side and then I'll flip it. Now, if you want to cook this in a deep fryer, you can do that as well. But um, this is what I, how I'm cooking this today. I have my tilapia here. I have rinsed these and pat it dry. There are five fillets that I'm going to cook for today. And what we'll do now is simply just um, submerge these in the batter. And once my skillet heats up, we will just drop them in the oil and fry away. All right, I'm gonna take my first filet and just drop it in the batter and kind of turn it over, just kind of get it submerged. Then I'm gonna take another one. I'm gonna take a smaller one and do the same thing. And I'm just gonna cook these a couple at a time in my skillet. Cause I don't really want them to stick together or anything like that. I wanna have plenty of room to turn them over and for them to fry. So I'm gonna leave these in here and just submerge for a little bit and I'll be right back. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and drop in my first 
my first fillet here. I'm gonna add my second. And you can use your fingers, that's fine, but I just found it easier just to do it this way with my palms. Okay, so we're gonna let this cook for a little bit and I'm just gonna flip these over. And you just really, just really have to watch this. Again, tilapia, it just cooks very fast. So I'm gonna let these cook for maybe um, a minute here and then turn over. over and if you want to do, cut these up smaller these are perfect again for your fish tacos perfect but we're just going to have the fillets tonight so this is a very light kind of crisp you know layer right here of the batter so it's it's going to be delicious i hope you try this guys smells so good. And really, these are probably done, but I'm just gonna let it cook these for a few seconds longer. Oops, see how this is? That's why I just wanted to put two in here. And be careful, this oil is very hot. I'm gonna remove these and place them on a paper towel, on a plate with a paper towel, so they can go ahead and just kind of release, get the oil out here. It smells heavenly, guys. So I have three more to cook, and then we'll be right back. I'm placing my next two in the skillet. And you just repeat this process. And you see like the little chips here <laughs> also. And sometimes I'll drop the batter in here and just make like the actual chips that come with the fish, like when you go to restaurants. But sometimes I just place, make this with a side of fries or, you know, even one, I'll probably make another video with the tacos, but Mexican rice, um, sometimes we'll make um, in a vegetable, I always have to have a salad of some sort or whatever. But um, we sometimes make a a sauce to dip this in if we're making like the fish sticks. But um, I may make that, I'm not sure yet, but we're just gonna try to finish these up first. But it smells so good, guys. And it cooks so fast, it doesn't take any time. It's perfect for a weeknight dinner or even the weekend, anytime really. And I have one more little filet to make, and then I'll show you the finished product. Tilapia is one of my favorite fish of all times. I mean, baked, fried, <laughs> we've even tried to grill it. Um, it's kind of difficult for me to grill it, but I'm determined to master the grilled tilapia, actually on the grill. So we'll see how it goes. All right, guys, and here's the final masterpiece. I fixed some green beans and some rice to go with my tilapia. I cannot wait to eat it. I hope you try this recipe. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps my channel and helps support me. I appreciate you all very much. I hope you try this and let me know if you do. And thank you again, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.